How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel for a brand new video. So today I'm going to be walking you through a standard guide on how to play Jun Kazama in Tekken 8. I remember when she was first announced for this game, I was really excited to play her. I said I was going to make a video guide on her. So here it is, making good on my promise. Now, as I do with all my starter guides, I will do my best to keep it as simple and clean as possible while providing you with practical information. What type of character is June? June is very well rounded, kind of like a jack of all trades, very versatile. She has the ability to be played defensively, but also has very good offensive tools that take advantage of the aggressive system in Tekken 8. Movement wise, she is not bad. She has a solid back dash and her sidesteps are not bad either. They get the job done. Now, an important thing I want to address before we even look at her moves is the fact that June has certain moves that actually hurt her. However, this is not as bad as it seems because June has ways to make up for this. To start, June cannot KO herself by depleting her own health. I've tried. Second, when June is in heat, she actually heals herself by doing the same moves that hurt her in a normal state, which is perfect for the aggressive heat mechanic in Tekken 8. I'm going to list off the moves that fall into this hurt heal category so you're aware of what they are and what they look like because they will come up as I'm talking and taking you through this guide. They are the following. Up forward one. Full crouch down forward one. Up forward two. Forward forward one plus two. Down one plus two. Back two, one, two. Back three, two. Down forward two, one plus two. Three plus four. Izumo, one, one. Izumo, two. Genjitsu, three, two. Miare 1 Miare 2 Now that you know what they are, what they look like, keep note of that as they will come up as I walk you through this guide. So with that out of the way, let's go through her key moves. To start, June has a standard jab out of 1-2, just like so. From 1-2, June has the option to continue her pressure and mind games against your opponent by doing an additional 2. So you do one, two, two, like so. As you can see, June goes into a spinning stance. This is called her Izumo stance. More on stances later. Additionally, June can do one, two, and sidestep. Just like so. By doing this, June has access to her moves out of sidestep. June also has a one, three. June's down forward one is a standard mid poke. It is quick effective and it also has follow-ups. From down forward one, you can do down forward one one, down forward one two. To apply some quick pressure to your opponent, it may be a good idea to throw in some jabs, mix it up with down forward one, jab, down forward one one, jab, down forward one. The good thing about her down forward one extensions is that both down forward one one and down forward one two have counter hit properties on the second hit. So I have counter hit properties activated right now and we'll do down forward one one. Okay, as you can see, this gives you a ballerina spin, which puts you in a position advantage, allowing you to continue your offense and pressure by moving forward. Down forward one two on counter hit is actually very good because you get a free up forward one follow up. Just like that. Three hit combo for 39 damage, not bad. One thing I recommend is learning how to visually recognize the counter hit two and be ready to follow it up with the up forward one. Thankfully, when you get the down forward two on counter hit, you get a zoom in effect, which is a good help at letting you know, okay, I got the counter hit, let me do up forward one. So when you see the zoom, be ready for the up forward one. Back two. This move by itself is a safe mid and it tracks to June's left side. It also has a follow up in back two one, just like so. She also has back two two, which is safe. So this one, back two two, you can actually just throw out without fear. Back four two. 
So this is a two hit string, it is mid mid. Now the idea behind this string is that this is actually hit confirmable. What this means is that after you do the first hit, the back four, you have the ability to visually see if the move connects before you follow it up with the second hit. An added bonus to this is that if your opponent is trigger happy and attempts to punish you after the back four, you can actually follow it up with the, with the two follow up and it becomes a counter hit launcher. So as you can see, I tried to take my turn and interrupt June's string. And as you can see, June is doing the follow up and she gets a launcher, which of course will allow her to get a full combo. Another great thing about back four by itself is that it is actually a knee attack. This means that this attack cannot be parried, which makes it effective against parry attempts. Side step four. This is a good move. It is a safe mid attack. It's a heat engager. You're at an advantage on block and on hit even more so. Standing four. Okay, so this move is a little interesting because we categorize it under the term magic four, which is a universal term used to describe a standing four kick that has counter hit properties, which allows you to either get a full combo or a follow up. In June's case, she gets a follow up. So on counter hit, you see that the opponent is knocked down. So what June can do after this is that she can actually get a follow-up 3 plus 4 for some pretty beefy damage. Right there, 3 hit combo, 48 damage, not bad. Now let's talk about her low pokes. Her most effective lows are going to be down back 3. I would consider this June's best low poke. Speed wise, it comes out relatively fast and it also has some counter hit properties as well. This is also a good move to end rounds with. Next up on the list we have down 4. So this move right here is a very good low poke and it has a lot of range. So here we are in neutral position, range one, down four, hits. Let me back up a little bit. So just a tad bit there. As you can see, down four is still able to reach my opponent. Down four is a very good move that you'll be using a lot and it'll be frustrating for your opponent to deal with. And it also has a follow up in down four, four. Down 4-4 four, four is good to throw out every now and then, especially if you notice that your opponent tries to punish the down 4 by itself. The reason why I would use this sparingly is because the final hit, the second hit, is a high and your opponent can actually duck it. So use with caution, but definitely a valid move to use every now and then. Down back 2. This is a low poke that evades high attacks, and as you can see, this move leaves June in crouching status meaning that you are able to access moves out of crouch, which I'll explain more of later. Another low poke that June has is down back four. She can do up to three of these moves in a row, like so. However, I would advise against doing this out in the open as it's very easy to block or parry the follow-ups. See, you can block or parry, even on hit. Down back four by itself, I think is a relatively good low. So you should always have this in mind. Down three plus four. So this is June's can can kicks. She's famous for it. It is a counter hit launcher. It crushes lows, it evades lows, meaning that if you are able to read a low coming, let's say you knock your opponent down and you feel that they're gonna wake up with a low get up kick, you can simply run up and do that for a launcher. Just like that. Homing attacks. So when you start to notice that your opponent is beginning to sidestep in an attempt to get away from your pressure, now it's time to throw out homing attacks. And June's most effective ones are the following. Down forward three, forward four. These homing attacks can be identified by the blue streak of light coming from her feet. So as you can see, down forward three, it has it, and also forward four. So that's how you can identify a homing attack. These attacks track both left and right, so your opponent cannot sidestep them. So as mentioned, if you want to keep your opponent in check from sidestepping, homing attacks are your friend. Also speaking of forward four, it's a homing attack, but it also has another unique property to it. So if you notice that forward four connects, if it hits your opponent, you can actually get a free one plus two. Just like that. 
two hit combo, 39 damage, and it's also a heat engager, so you're at a massive advantage. Just something to keep an eye out for. Full Crouch. From full crouch position, June has a variety of good options, such as full crouch down forward two. This is a low sweep, has counter hit properties. So if you get this on counter hit, you can actually get a free while standing three launcher. Full crouch down forward three. This is a low attack, and as you can see on hit, it knocks your opponent down. When you see that this attack connects and your opponent is knocked down, you're actually able to get a free follow up. You can either do forward two or up forward two. Another thing that June has at a full crouch is that she actually has a command throw. So by going full crouch and then pressing down back one plus two, she gets a command throw. And the good thing about this is that she can actually get a full combo from it. Of course, it's just a demonstration. There are better options, but just to kind of paint the picture. She also has a while standing one plus two. Let's move right here. Now this actually has a ridiculous amount of range. So even from here, I'm pretty sure it'll hit me. Or it'll hit the opponent, watch. Look at that. That thing has insane range. Um, this can actually be canceled as well. So by doing wall standing one plus two and holding down again, as you can see, June actually is able to cancel that and go back into the crouching position. By canceling this, it allows you to apply pressure to your opponent, more of a mental game. And of course you can access June's other full crouch moves from there. One thing you could do just to kind of briefly demonstrate, let's say you do down back two, immediately you're in full crouch position. So what you can do while standing one plus two, right? Cancel. Down back two, while standing one plus two, cancel. Cancel, maybe do that. So it's really up to your decision what you want to do. You can get creative with that. Also, while standing one plus two is a counter hit launcher. So it's something to keep in mind of. So let's say you get counter hit properties. As you can see, you're able to get a full combo. While standing two, one. So this is a two hit string. It, they are both mid mid, but the true benefit of this move comes from the while standing two by itself, as it does have counter hit properties. Now let's talk about June's stances. She has three of them. Let me go down the list. Izumo stance. This is a classic stance. It can be manually done by pressing up two. However, there are certain moves that transition into this stance. The most common ones you'll be doing are four, two, three, one, 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 two, two, forward, one. From Izumo stance, she has various follow-ups, such as Izumo, one, one. Izumo 1-1 one, one is usually a combo extender as it gives a tornado flip at the end. Just like that. Izumo 1-2. This is a mid attack at the end that spikes your opponent to the ground. Both of the attacks I just mentioned can actually be used as a mix up to keep your opponent on edge. The reason why is because Izumo 1-1 one, one is a high, so it can be ducked. But if you mix it up with the 1-2, you'll catch opponents who are ducking, and of course, you'll get the follow-up spike. Izumo 3. This is a heat engager. It jails, it's safe on block, and does decent damage. Izumo 4-1. This is her low option out of this stance. Think of it like her hell sweep. The low is actually launch punishable, so use it with caution. Pick your points carefully but still a valid move to use. Izumo 1 plus 2. This is a power crush move with spiking properties. Next up on the list we have Genjutsu, which can be manually entered by pressing forward 3 plus 4. But you'll likely be entering the stance after using forward forward 2 and pressing forward. Moves from Genjutsu. She has the following. Genjutsu 1. This is a low attack. Good option. And actually, when June is in heat, you can do Genjutsu 2 plus 3 for a heat smash. Genjutsu 2. This is usually used at the end of combos as an ender. That's where you'll see this most often used. Genjutsu 3, 2. This is a safe mid option. Mix this up with Genjutsu 1 to keep your opponent guessing. Are you going to go low or are you going to go mid? Genjutsu 4. This is a high attack. It's also a homing attack. This move is often used as a combo filler, particularly after June's up 4-3-4 hopkin. 
Miara's stance. This is her new stance in Tekken 8 that June got. It can be manually done by pressing back 1 plus 2, as you can see. It can also be transitioned into by other moves such as a forward 4-3 forward, hop kick. If you actually hold this stance, June actually heals herself. So maybe you could do this at a distance when you're far away from your opponent, maybe after a combo ender that leaves you far away from your opponent, maybe you could do this, heal up some damage. From this stance, she can actually also transition into the other two stances we just covered. She can go into Izumo stance by pressing 1 plus 2. She can go into Genjutsu by holding forward. Parries and reversals. So June does have a parry. It can be done by pressing either back 1 plus 3 or back 2 plus 4. This parry is used to stop and oppose momentum. She can't hold it like Asuka, but it's still a good option to use to give your opponent something else to think about. That way, they don't just blindly rush in with offense. It lets your opponent know there's an additional threat in your arsenal that will stop their momentum. And it works on both kicks and punches. June also has a forward 2 plus 3, which is her Sabaki. This is something that only works against punches, so you have to have a good read on when your opponent is going to throw a punch. If you land this successfully, you are able to get a full combo. As you can see, you can proceed with your combo as you wish. How to punish with June. Standing punishers, 10 frame, 1, 2 jab, or up forward 1, which is by far her strongest option. 12 frame, 2, 1, 4. 13 frame, 1 plus 2, which is also a heat engager. Alternatively, she has back 4, 2. 15 frame, down back 1, 1, 1 plus 2. 16 frame, down forward 2, 1 plus 2. 17 frame, forward 2. This move in particular is always good to keep in mind. Always be ready to throw this out, especially if your opponent whiffs an attack. Even from distance, it covers good range and you can get a full launch for a full combo. Punish game from crouching. Down back one jab or full crouch down forward one. 12 frame while standing one one. 13 frame while standing two one. 14 frame while standing three. 16 frame up forward four three. 18 frame or worse while standing 3 plus 4. Her heat engagers are the following. 1 plus 2. Forward 2, 1 plus 2. Side step 4. Izumo 3. Miara 2. Alright, so one thing that I want to touch on very quick, post-editing, production, whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, June's Heat Smash. This thing is good just normal standing heat smash. So this is what it looks like, all right? It comes out very fast at 13 frames, two hit combo for 50 damage. But this thing has reach. You can be over here and still attack your opponent and reach them. Look at that. So it's always a good idea to keep this in mind because you will get a lot of mileage out of this. Let's see, this might be a little bit too far. Let's test it out though. Oh. Yeah, just a little bit too far. But you get the idea, right? So we have here, see, look at that. Tip range and it still hits. So keep June's Heat Smash in mind, very good move. And there you have it, an introductory guide on how to play June Kazama in Tekken 8. Overall, she's a very strong character in this game and is good at playing a versatile role. I definitely recommend her as a main character. She's very fun to play, simple to pick up, while also offering you a lot of room for creativity as you grow in your gameplay. Hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know what y'all thought. Other than that, I hope everyone has a good day. Stay safe out there, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.